What's up YouTube? Awesome coming at you with Vaporleaf.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Sigeli 75 watt temperature control. Kind of like this device. Nice little small device. Uh, has some decent weight to it. Has temperature control ability. Can hit, uh, uh, well I'm running a .2 on there, possibly lower. Um, and it's capable of hitting 75 watts, I believe 572 degrees in temperature control. So let's go ahead and dive down in, take a closer look at this guy, see what we're looking at. All right, here we are up and close with the Sigeli 75 watt temperature control. Uh, one thing that I'd like to mention just before we open this up, uh, Sigeli really did a nice job of making this a very compact, space efficient packaging. Um, there is really not much extra airspace in this packaging whatsoever, um, which uh, it's not necessarily the best thing for uh, from a consumer standpoint. It's kind of nice to see all the bells and whistles in this big lavish packaging. Um, but for retailers and everything, it's kind of nice because it, it keeps everything small and compact. Uh, and obviously shipping from China isn't the cheapest thing in the world, so uh, I, I do like that. Um, so we just kind of slide this cover off here. Um, go ahead and pop this open. We have the device right here with the silicone case on it. We'll go ahead and just peel that silicone case off. You do get a, uh, a booklet and a warranty card in there. And then when you open the device up, which one cool thing about this is both of the doors come off. Uh, you have your charge cable right in the battery compartment right there. Uh, I will say this is kind of a dinky charge cable, but it is a micro USB, so most people should have extras of those that are longer and probably a little bit higher quality. Uh, but it does come with one if you don't have one. Uh, like I said, both of the doors uh, do come off. They both have these pins on them that slide in, or that are held into these slots, and then corresponding magnets to make sure they stay in place. As far as the contacts go, you have uh, copper contacts, you have the negative and the positive right there, and your positive contact is spring-loaded. Uh, not quite as much as some of the other single 18650 devices out there, but it definitely does have a spring load to it. Uh, and that, since it is a hollow body, essentially, it makes it uh, pretty remarkably easy to pop your batteries in as well as out. Uh, I, for a while there I was kind of struggling with it, wishing that they would have put a ribbon on it until a customer came in and just popped both doors off and pulled it out. I did not realize both doors came off. I was just pulling the one door out, kind of smacking it to get the battery out of there, uh, which I don't recommend ever, but I, I thought that was really the only way you could do it. Happens that uh, all that you really need to do is pop off one side and then just kind of press and it pops the door and the battery out. Uh, really nice design. I like that. Um, and there are also uh, some replacement doors. So if you don't like this uh, brushed stainless steel look, they have, uh, or at least we carry copper doors. They might have some other looks as well, but I really do like that. Uh, speaking of colors, um, this device will come in two colors, the silver, which is what you see here, and then a black. Um, the doors are still going to be this stainless steel, uh, but this... Um, anodized aluminum right here is going to be uh, black instead of silver. So to go over the device real quick, we have a spring-loaded 510 at the top of the device, a uh, charge port with a little bit of venting on the bottom. You have your fire button and your two directional buttons. Uh, turned on is going to be five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. Get this in a little bit closer. All right, so right now we're in the power mode. You have your battery indicator, uh, resistance, which let me go ahead and zero that out real quick because we don't have a tank on there. Um, voltage, your wattage, and it says power mode right there. So I can adjust uh, down and up. It'll have your applied voltage and resistance um, once everything's actually hooked up. And that's basically all there is in power mode. Um, to get to temp mode, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold both of these directional buttons. Uh, lowest wattage we can hit is 5 watts in the power mode. So we're going to press and hold that. It's going to go come up with this power temp. We're going to uh, go ahead and go over to temp and hit the fire button. Now you can see 5 watts, 139 degrees Celsius. 
and then your voltage is there we're gonna go ahead and jump into that uh, so when you go all the way up it'll cycle into Fahrenheit or uh, down or up right now I went down um, so 212 degrees so it, it, that's how you can swap between the Fahrenheit just keep going to the bottom uh, or the top if you're maxed out um, we want Fahrenheit obviously so we're gonna go ahead and stay in that then if you just click both buttons um, you're gonna have your wattage right there that you can adjust and then just click both buttons again and it'll go back up to the temperature and that's how you adjust that so alright guys let's jump back up and we'll finish this guy up alright guys so that was the Sigeli 75 watt temperature control device um, I like it. Uh, like I said, uh, I was reading through the book and it says that it's capable resistances are 0.05 um, as, as the lowest and it says that it will support both canthal and nickel. I'm assuming that that 0.05 is only for nickel. I don't have any canthal builds lower than uh, 0.2 ohms to test that with, so I know the device will fire down to 0.2 ohms in canthal, allegedly 0.05 with canthal and nickel. Um, I know it, it, it will hit 0.05 with nickel. I'm just not 100% sure on um, uh, Canthal. But past that, there is absolutely no point in running a, a 0.05 at 75 watts. It will do nothing for you. Um, that's uh, it, it, the the lower your resistance goes, the less efficient wattage becomes. So with a lower wattage device, which I can't believe we're saying 75 watt devices are lower wattage devices these days, but it it I guess it's kind of a mid range. The 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 30 40 uh, watters are are kind of the lower end of it at this point. 75 is really kind of that mid range. Then you get the 100, 150, and 200 watters. But for a 75 watt, run a 0.3 or a 0.4. You're going to get a lot better experience out of that guy than running a 0.1, 0.2. I, I mean, I, I was running a 0.2 on there, but I normally run that uh, on like a Segele 150 or, uh, or a uh, unregulated box. So... Yeah, Sigeli 150, uh, I really like the device, uh, as I keep saying, the doors, um, those copper doors, I really like, it, it actually adds a little bit of weight to it as well, I like a weighty device that might not necessarily be for you if it's not for you, um, there are definitely a lot of devices that have a comparable size and uh, comparable um, functionality to them that aren't quite as heavy as this device. So. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to us on YouTube for all the latest and greatest. You guys have a great day. Bye now.